Hey, Cooter. Hey, here, Belly. What you doing? Oh, fixing to see the video here with the high point. Oh, yeah, it sure is a nice high point you got there. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to go shoot me some videos. Since you won't let me be in your videos, I shoot my own videos now. <laughs> All right, buddy. Well, you have fun making your video. I got to run back inside and grab some stuff real quick. Okay, here, Billy. We'll see ya. <laughs> but, oh my goodness. Look at this high point. Ah, dude, that thing got a monster scope on it. Heck yeah. I can really nail them flies now. Surely he'll be able to care if I borrow this for a few minutes. What in the heck? Where'd the high point go? Assault gun? Cooter! I cannot believe you took the high point and left this. You know what he does with this? It shacks out in the middle of the woods and his videos consist of him using this salt gun shooting flies off the wall. Oh my goodness, he's got the high point now. Cooter, Cooter, bring that back here, Cooter. Howdy, Hillbilly Nation. This is American Hillbilly. <laughs> Good to see you all today. I hope your day's going wonderful. We come back out to the range today, and just so you know, I caught Cooter and got the high point back. Yeah, that crazy Cooter, I tell you what, don't know what to do with that boy. And we brought the nine millimeter high point, yeah. We still had the monster panzer on here. So I thought, well, let's shoot this thing some more. See how it's working, but today, we're gonna be testing out some ammo. So what we have here is some Norma, you can see right there, monolithical high point, monolithical hollow points, yeah. And as you can see right there, this thing is supposed to mushroom out really good. And here's what it looks like right there. Hopefully it's focused in, you can see the tip of it there. Looks just like a regular kind of hollow point. But I thought, well, how good do these work? I was like, can we catch a bullet? And shooting some different stuff and seeing uh, how that expands when it hits. But first of all, I'm gonna put up this disclaimer here for YouTube. We are at a private range. It is closed, we're in a safe environment. We are not selling any firearms or firearm accessories. Yes, we're just testing some out safely so first of all i'd say well let's see how these things feed to the high point so i got some loaded up here i got a target down there and let's shoot like three rounds see if they feed good just shooting you know paper target so let me get set up here and we'll get started so up first let's see how this thing cycles we'll shoot three round group that target All right, shackled in pretty good. Let's go look at that. Okay, man, the high point just, it just does the job, fellas. Two to the same hole there, one there. My goodness, it's just hard to beat that high point, I tell you. Okay, let me show you the setup we got here. Now, I'm gonna be filming back there off my phone because we do have the GoPro up here Hopefully get a nice angle of all this. Trying to catch some bullets. We have some nice steady boards over here. So we don't hopefully lose the bullet off to one side or the other. We got a couple pillows back here. Then behind this, we got a nice heavy duty board, another board, and another pillow. So with all this setup, 
hopefully we'll be able to catch the bullets without any problems and this is gonna be totally safe okay folks up first we're gonna test some hillbilly ballistic gel yeah they don't let us hillbillies have regular ballistic gel so this is the next best thing we have to ballistic gel let's put down some of this hillbilly ballistic gel and see what it does lay this stuff down here oh man come out of there you rascal bad thing about this gel it don't come out very easy man try this one okay we got the hillbilly ballistic gel set up there yeah some of it kind of fell apart because it's hot out here Okay, we got our hillbilly ballistic gel set up down there. Now I'm gonna shoot off this dress, that way, cause I got it lower, that way I can shoot more, hopefully in line with everything. So let's see how our ballistic gel does, see if it can stop on these Norma monolithic hollow points. Yeah. That made a mess. I don't think it stopped the bullet, but I'll go look. Oh man, this is nasty. Oh my goodness. Whoa, look here. Oh, that is still hot. Let me cut this open here. Dang, should have brought the skinny black knife out here. Oh my goodness, that thing's just fire hot. So let me get that thing out of there. Mm. All right. Oh, this is nasty. Ah. Man, I got hillbilly ballistic gel all over my arm. Ow, it is hot. There we go. She flared open. It's hotter than tater right now, but I'm going to take this back to the table up there okay we got three empty milk jugs filled up with water let's see if we can stop a bullet here see how far that thing penetrate plus all this needs to be washed up anyhow because it's it's nasty okay we got three jugs of water down there let's see how far this stuff will go through there see if it mushrooms out flyers out and see if it'll stop in one jug two three is it gonna make it all the way to the pillow i don't know we're gonna find out Oh, man. Let's go check that out. All right. We got one empty one. Oh, man. It's just nasty. Got dang hillbilly ballistic gel all over me. Got a second one? It wore some of this crap off of me. My gosh, it's nasty. Went in. Okay, the first one like moved it and so like it, I don't know, I don't see. Oh wait, okay, here's here's the exit right here. I'll be darned. Now look at this one. We got an entry, no exit, and there's our bullet. Oh man, good, I can wash my hands now too. Woo! Man, this stuff's nasty clean some of this stuff off here all right there we go went through two went through two jugs of water and stopped in the third one all right well let's do some more tests okay now what if we hit something harder like say a piece of wood right here i'm going to hit it here and see if it'll stop uh hope it'll stop right in there just kind of have this so it won't come back at me but let's see what she'll do all right now like i said we're gonna see if we can hit something a little harder we got some four by fours down there and we're gonna hit that and hopefully catch the bullet you know this is scientific this is educational and it's documented so it falls along all of youtube's guidelines and we're being safe Alright, let's go check it out.
All right, we'll see if we can find that. Hit right here where I was aiming. I don't know. Look pretty good den in there. Left pieces of wood. Oh, we had an entry here and the exit there. So we did have an exit. Anyway, this dang hillbilly ballistic is some nasty stuff. I'll tell you that right now. Hang on a minute. I did find it. I moved these nasty pillows here. And here it is. Dang, that thing is hot. Let me put these things back. Get this nastiness out of the way. Okay. Ow. Okay, there it is. Um, I'll have to wait a second before I can pick it up. That thing's still fire hot. Woo! I'll let it cool off for a second. Hang on. All right. It's cooled off enough that I can touch it. This thing didn't fire one bit. That's something hard and it went all the way through it. It kept it from opening up. So, see, that's scientific. Now we know. But it did make a hard pass right through that tree. That tree did four by four. It sure did. And up next, no video would be complete unless we shot some hard seltzers. So, we got six hard seltzers lined up there. Let's see how many hard seltzers it takes to open one of these babies up. As you know, no video will be complete unless we destroyed some hard seltzers. We got six of them lined up down there. Let's see if we can stop one of these and give it a nice mushroom with some hard seltzer. So, let's get with it. That never gets old. Yes. <laughs> it looks like you probably got all six of them. Let's go down there and check it out. Oh my goodness. Look at this. It just shredded these. My goodness. Look at that. But it passed pretty dang straight. Looks like it got every one of them. Oh my, no way. No way. <laughs> You're telling me that it took exactly six hard seltzers to catch one of these. Look at this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop that thing. <laughs> well, at least this one ain't hot. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Man, you know, that bullet was screaming all the way through there saying, this stuff is too bubbly. I don't like this hard seltzer. Please let me get out of this hard seltzer. I don't want to drink anymore. But the poor thing didn't make it through number six. Poor bullet. It did not survive the hard seltzers. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Man. Oh, you can see there's a dent on the back side. It smacked the back side. It just didn't have enough energy. It ripped it open, smacked the backside, did not have enough energy to go all the way through. I tell you what, man, this is pretty dang exciting. Let me go back up to the bench and we'll talk a bit. Oh my goodness, that was a lot of fun. I hope Hibbley Nation enjoyed that just as much as I did. And as you can see, the little corral I built to catch all the bullets worked. That's what responsible gun owners do. Yes, at a range, always safe. This video is educational. Now we know what this ammo will do in different situations. It's documented because we got it right here on the camera. And so, let's go back and look at these. Here's the first ones. First one is shot through the hillbilly ballistic gel. Yeah, remind me not to use that anymore. It's really nasty. Then here's the second one. 
we cut it in the water. Yeah, three gallons of water, stopped it. Then here's the one that went through the treated four by four. Just straight through, did not open it up at all. And then this is a poor little feller that went through five hard seltzers. He's like, I'm getting through this. I'm gonna get out of these hard seltzers. Made it in the sixth one, put a little dent in back to can, and poor little feller couldn't go any farther. Yes, he ended up in the sixth hard seltzer. Poor feller, I think I'm gonna save you. So, the high point with the Monstrum, Panzer. You could tell it was very accurate. It hit everything center. I mean, on the money. This thing just always does me good. I'm very proud of this rifle. I love it. Adding that Monstrum Panzer on there, they just made it bougie. Yeah, definitely bougie now. So I wanna thank all of Hillbilly Nation for coming here, watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I want you to remember, God, family, and country. Make somebody's day better, will you? And if you want to stick around, watch one of these videos. One of them's where I shot up my kid's swimming pool. Grandkids were not happy. Another one is how us hillbillies make avocado toast. So check them out. And if the good Lord's willing, creeks don't rise. We'll be seeing you again, Hillbilly Nation, and I love you.